It's a great honor to be here today, thank you. Uh, I'm representing the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, and especially the Epidemic Intelligence Team. Name code ECDC for European Centre of Disease Prevention and Control, born in 2005 in Stockholm, Sweden. At ECDC, we use drones to monitor infectious diseases threats. That's how Dan Brown describes ECDC surveillance and response team in, uh, in Inferno. But it's not factual, of course, and I'm going to give you now the true story. We are about 300 people working at ECDC, uh, representing 30 countries in Europe. Uh, and we, are, um, uh, we have one duty officer that works around the clock on 24-7 for epidemic intelligence. We screen about 500 uh, pieces of news every day and we produce 50 EI reports, 30 <coughs> risk assessments per year, and we're six people working full-time for epidemic intelligence. Uh, at CDC, we believe that epidemic intelligence is all about uh, networks, technology, and also timeliness. And that's what I'm going to, I'm going to address in this presentation. First of all, uh, networks. What is information? What is technology? If it's not uh, supported by essential networks, uh, how can we ensure a European health security without uh, human networks? Uh, we are, of course, uh, not alone on this. Uh, we have uh, built networks with uh, national uh, health authorities in the countries, uh, with WHO uh, inside and also outside Europe. And we created platforms and systems to enable people to communicate. One of them is the EPIS platform for food and waterborne diseases uh, that enable people from uh, Europe, but also the States, Japan, Australia, and South Africa to, uh, to be able to communicate. A recent example was this uh, paratyphoid fever in the um, travelers coming back from Cambodia, uh, where you can see here an extract of the platform where even New Zealand reported, uh, reported cases. We believe in technology. No drones yet, but certainly tools to help us to scan and to screen the unlimited amount of information from the web and then redistribute it uh, properly. And this was seen uh, when we started uh, following the outbreak of H7N9 in China. We turned into an alert phase and we closely monitored the cases to produce uh, timely assessments. The idea was to go a bit further than this. <laughs> so you all wonder now what type of tools we use to do epidemic intelligence. Uh, we of course use uh, your monitoring systems uh, like um, GFIN, Pulse, ProMed, HealthMap and uh, Medicis. Medicis is a tool that was developed by the Joint Research Centre of the European Commission and we have uh, a close collaboration with them. We have created special alerts for the H7N9 outbreak and the tool covers um, more than 80 languages, including Chinese and Arabic. During the H7N9 outbreak, we uh, have started to monitor cases even through Twitter, um, but we still we tend to be cautious with, uh, with, the, with the information that comes from, uh, from blogs or from social media, uh, although we cannot deny that they are the most timely. And we believe in timeliness. What is accurate information if it's not delivered on time? In April 2012, we have been one of the first agencies to detect an unknown virus, um, which will then be called the MERS coronavirus. Since then, we have uh, created a huge database compiling record of uh, all, all cases. We create weekly epi curves and uh, maps, as you can see here. Uh, we represent uh, cases from the Middle East and from Europe, and we uh, manage to link them through their travel history. And the story is not over. Um, you can find more information on our website for more information. At ECDC, we have a strong interest in digital disease detection, and we do believe uh, that networks are the most important. So let's network. Thank you.